How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. We are back at it. Um, this game's been really good so far. Um, I know we're only a few parts in, but uh, it's been pretty engaging so far, the story anyway. Um, and, the, I mean, and everything. Um, the gameplay. Um, so, uh, I uh, like I said, I know I'm a little late to the party on this, but um, thought it'd be a good game to play. And... Uh, I, uh, I have other games on my list that uh, I haven't even got to yet as well. Uh, Horizon Zero, uh, Horizon Forbidden West, and uh, Dying Light 2. Um, Horizon, I don't know if I am gonna get to. Um, it, uh, um, I had a hard time with the first game uh, visually. Um, it was a really good game, but um, it was just kind of hard from a visual aspect. Um, anyway, enough of my rambling. Let's go. I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that Rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it. Now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS quarantine zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother Definitely someone Definitely gonna else? have to ask Rocket about this. I intend to. Later. I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. <coughs> what? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to Open it this while door. I was sleeping. I know you are in there. Eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that do you snore? That I, do not know I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that check. Has clearly you sound like a toy. I don't snore I am that watching. loud. Tree. Yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? It kind of looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course, a spinal control thingy. Back on Half-World, Kree scientists used these to keep us super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd press a big, fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Holy crap. Rocket. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay. And let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it controls me? I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk and a few bad memories. How many of you super soldiers were there on Half-World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon. You gotta understand. She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line. That I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds... Awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. What we didn't know, what I didn't know, was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. 
We got to the security fence, and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency, and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard a die quill. Oh, rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. I'm sorry you had to go through all that, Rocket. For real. Damn, that's crazy. I didn't realize all that. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and... Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um... Was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird and I was the kid. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime. About three years into my sentence. Wait. Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were. And they also weren't. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resistance ships. Until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yandu ended up on Shatari Prime. With you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out... He could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base, but he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. You must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged, if that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes. Exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? Could have been worse. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> first thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, so I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these... gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. Not sure about that, but... I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu? He actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I had been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> well, let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But, it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around. Is it me, or...? Uh, did they make Gamora's hair like kind of weird and like it kind of sticks up off to the side and like well, well, she doesn't well, well, really well. move Let's at all? See if we can find some stray units in here. Really?
37 units? You appear to be 8,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. holding out My on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will Star sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic oh, mountains yeah, of Kakaran. Real mature. We will seek the... Guys! Maybe Rocket has something. There's a lot of crazies out there, Quill. Willing to pay for this kind of... weird... No! Let's say my collection is actually worth something. There's no way we find a buyer in time. And even if we do, there's no way it gets us what we need. And most importantly, any attempt to sell anything of mine will result in me chopping off something valuable of yours. Perhaps we should reconsider another course of action. Yep. Such as capturing the infamous... No! I am Groot. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to... No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for yeah, it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Yeah, I think we should do that. Well, I think Groot's more convincing. In the traditional monster sense. Group, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. out before we even finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. 
Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't bode so good. Ouch! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, <laughs> Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. Come on, at least you won't be bored. Okay, guys, if we just keep our footing, it'll be a straight shot across. <laughs> I agree. The bottom way looks drier. The bottom way is death. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. We must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri traitor to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Drax! The war is on our side. For now, just try to accept it. What do you mean, for now? I'm saying you have a reputation in Gamora. Drax is clearly a little crazy, so... What? Interesting tactic, Quill. Hey, the more we argue, the quicker this will go. Admit it, you almost forgot about the storm. No. Nope. If Lady Eight is so powerful, why does she live on this scuttle? Sektoff 9 is her ancestral home. Concept you are clearly unfamiliar with, Abomination. Where you're from ain't what matters, Meathead. It matters to Lady Helbert. Looking for loot, guys. Looking for loot. Whoa! That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! So we're still doing this? Yes! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they can. Or we'll get blown right off. Good oh boys. shit. Oh god. <laughs> it's an interesting uh, twist there. Oh god. Oh god. Determined to explore, perhaps we should support him. 
I support you, Peter Quill. The only <laughs> thing I support is getting out of this fucking rain. Have gone to Mako 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. What the? Uh, we're gonna be fighting I Jello saw. Mold? Gamora does the most damage potentially with these. Keep missing the uh, recharge. There we go. So that's what a monster around here looks like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. Food. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? There's a trail going through the jungle! Try to find a way up! This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it at all. Words to live by. Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. <laughs> it makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. Okay, I don't think, uh... Let's check around real quick. I don't think there was anything down here. 
The mercenarians nice. smells queer. It's them belly things we fought. I think they, uh, you know, secrete in here. You mean that we are standing in a latrine? Not all of us. <laughs> Great. We made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. It still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Jelly thing. <laughs> say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady. Oh, what is this? Collateral damage. Okay. Yeah, this uh, this has really been fantastic so far. Really enjoying it. Did I miss something over here? Hold up. Looks like there's something shiny over there. I don't know if that's. Yeah, I bet you are. What's the weirdest monster you guys have seen? I once saw a Maybe not. transformed regalian wearing a Clintar parasite. You could fit a lot of teeth into a head that big. You have no idea. I think that says some reflection or something. Careful! Looks like something big mo Let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. <coughs> Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us it'll jump first? It's probably not gonna jump us. Mm-hmm. This jungle is majestic. I'm just looking well, around. There we go. What about you, Drax? Worst monster? Oh no. No, 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 no. He's just gonna say the road. Don't give him the pledge. I was actually you know what? I think um actually about, I think I have a ability point. Perks. Okay, so I need like need to save these up it looks like. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Go. I was deep in the jungle of an impossibly hostile planet. At the end of a bridge I found this small, hairy, weasel shaped abomination. Sorry, that's fine. <laughs> know which harlot spawn at first. Guys, monster planet, dark, dangerous, can we focus here? Are you frightened of monsters, Peter Clip? Only the scary ones. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Uh, Drax is going over here. What 
else we got? Seems like, uh... Dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! <laughs> Put me down! We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of forking shots! How will we cross? Don't face it. Look around, we'll find another way. Let's find the check back here. Seems like, um, tracks may potentially kind of lead you towards the. Oh, we got here. Towards the loot because that's the second time he was kind of going off on a side path and there was something there. Statues are of the monsters on this planet. Made of rock. Thanks, genius. I mean, maybe this is why Hellbender is so hot for monsters. There has to be something we can use. Maybe a tall tree. Taller than Groot. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. If Groot could. Uh, it would be easier to throw the rodent. No, it would not. What if he breaks a leg? He would still That's have three. Here. No one's throwing rock. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just leave it. What's your problem? My problem is Meathead trying to huck me over a cliff. You are overreacting. I did not throw you. Problem again, Peter. Trying to. Looks like there was some loot down here. Thought that was where he had to go. Gotta be something. Can't bring up the Guardians menu. There's gotta be something around to interact with. I mean, back here was just that collectible. I'm missing. There's gonna be something else down here.
Good shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Keep missing that. to reread how to do that because I, I keep missing it. Oh my god, dude. point um, hurts charge shot pressing R2 twice charges a shot okay Why I keep missing that? Oh. There we go. Okay, I understand now. All right. And the. The little slider gauge goes down into the green. You need to hit R2. I was messing up before. Um. Hey, I found more ruins down here. Ah, perhaps we could fashion a catapult. We're not throwing rockets. <laughs> well, maybe there's something else here. Oh. A miracle it's still standing in these storms. Oops. Drax, think you can topple this? Nice. I may have angered them. Them? We're being hunted. Great. That's just great. All right. Let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. Great place to leave a sculpture. Wait, hear that? Rise up, people. Incoming! Yep. Knew it. Big open arena. Yourself. Oh, 
tell you, these, some of these enemies are tanky, man. Jeez. Enough of these inferior creatures. I yearn for monsters. Yeah, I'm feeling all turned around as well. Where the flark are we? Just look around. There must be a path here somewhere. Why are we so sure this is the way? The statues here didn't walk into place. They were carried. All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. 50 units says it ain't. All right, guys. I think we're going to call the video here. Um... Stay tuned, more to come your way. Hope you all are doing good, and take care.